Hey guys, Plum Friends here. Welcome back. I'm hoping everybody's doing well and everybody's enjoying themselves this morning time and everybody's not stressing out too much. Right. This is not an out of the blue video. This is a video I've been trying to work out how to do for the last two, three weeks. But I've just not been able to do it. So I'm just going to do it. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you, I've done this video five, six times and I didn't like it. So, yeah, I'm just going to get on with this video now because it's a video subject I would like to talk about and it's a subject I know a lot of people don't talk about. Everybody talks about food prep for their home, but they never talk about food prep for their bags. Yeah, I like to do food prep for my bag at least once a month. And when I mean food prep, I mean literally food prep. I mean literally, I will put food into my bag at least once a month. I'm all not. I'm not saying that I stop rotating. I'm not saying that I go through the bag and take everything out of it. All the food that's in the bag out of the bag. I keep that in. I just add. I don't add a lot, but I add a bit. Like. I've got a new bag, I've got, an, I've got a um, have a sack, whatever you want to call it, bag, shoulder bag, sling bag, whatever you want to call it, bag coming to go with this one, so that that's where the extended boot is going to go in. So far, the extended boot is there. And when I mean, when I mean I, once a month I go out and get something for my, for my food for my work sack, I mean I literally will just go out and say, I'll just go out and buy say, a bag of rice. Or say an Italian inspired risotto. Things like that. Or a Spanish paella. Or a whole grain rice and quinoa, tomato, and basil. Or I'll just dehydrate and make my own. I do have noodles, I guess, in my bag. I have four of these in my bag, and maybe one of them, and a couple of them. I know Dolphy Dog can eat this. That's the reason why that's in the bag as well. So yeah, it, it's nothing bad against people. Everybody talks about food prep or food or preps they get. For their home or for their if they've got a location if they got to me that's a good thing yes but have an extended bag just for food i know i've got an extended box at the moment because i just was silly i forgot where i put the bag and now i can't find it so i've just ordered myself a nice new one it should be here soon hopefully so yeah but it's just everything though. Like, I even got honey like this, single pack, single portions of honey in my bag. Yeah, cottage pie. Spanish chicken. Escape one lace. Chicken tikka, chili. I did have more of these four bags, but I found out one thing about these four bags. I like them, really do, really, really like them. And I will be transferring most of this into these again, but they are just one-time use items. That's the only thing I don't like about them. So yeah. <coughs> Bless me, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. But that's my thing with you guys. That's the thing. And once a month, I might dehydrate a meal. Put it in my emergency food bag. And if I need it, if I'm at home and I need it, I can go to it. If I'm not at home and I need, and I just say I've got to leave it in say five minutes, everybody keeps putting this across. Now I can grab that bag full of food, plus. That one, 
Well, it's got 72 hours worth of food in it as well. Grab it and go. I'm not wandering around the house and going, oh, I better grab this food. Oh, oh. Or grabbing a box like this and carrying that. I don't drive. I don't, I don't know anybody who drives. I know someone who drives, but they're two and a half miles away from me, I think. Yeah. And some other people I know drive, and they're even farther away from me. So, yeah, I like to make sure, I want to make sure I've got an emergency quick grab food bag. So that's what I'm working on at this moment in time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do apologise this sounds a bit random, because it's not meant to be. It's just something I've been thinking about in the last couple of weeks and trying to get done. But I've just not been able to do it because it just do not make sense. I know this one probably won't to you guys, but yeah. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please put the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please put the thumbs down. If you'd like to join us here at Blue Offense, please do. You're more than welcome to join us. We will. We do have a Facebook and an Instagram called Blue Offense as well. If you'd like to join us on there, you're more than welcome to as well. So thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.